Hi, this is Mete from CodingMac.com and this is the third part of the video series titled What's New in SharePoint 2016. So let's have a look at the history. In the previous videos, in the first part, we have seen the roadmap and strategy towards launching 2016 version of SharePoint. In the second part, we have seen the removed and unchanged features and finally now in this part we can start with demoing the new features with the main roles feature which is uh, maybe the most popular fe new feature of SharePoint 2016. So uh, this screenshot was taken from a, uh, from a screen uh, from the products configuration wizard while install, uh, after installing the SharePoint binaries, when you run SharePoint products con configuration wizard, you first need to uh, select the main role of the uh, current server. So uh, the main role selection makes it uh, pretty easy for the uh, IT people, especially the people that plan the topology of the servers. So uh, in the background, the uh, main role system uh, checks whether each server is configured correctly and uh, it does this depending on the uh, main role that you have assigned to the server. And if there's any issues, it, it tries to automatically fix the issue. And uh, if there are issues that are manually forced, or uh, if there are issues that it can't fix, it just uh, gives an alert to the administrators about the issue. Uh, so these are pretty, f uh, I think most of you are pretty familiar wi with these roles. However, there are small changes uh, in the roles of the topology. So first, uh, front-end server is no longer that uh, front-end server in uh, 2013 and uh, it it is it is now heavier it it now also contains service application endpoints so in the past the front-end servers uh, only contained the front uh, front-end stuff like uh, the service application endpoints uh, were in the application server but now, uh, for uh, minimizing the latency uh, from the uh, app from the web application from the web endpoint to the service endpoints, uh, Microsoft has changed this uh, topology, and now the service application endpoints are also uh, stored in the front end servers. So this is one of the main changes, and one of the other changes is. Uh, installing a single server farm for uh, development purposes is available, still available, but there is no more a free SQL Express installation with it. So uh, you need to install the SQL server yourself. So this SharePoint installation doesn't do it automatically. So let's have a look at the uh, minimum topology requirements of a typical SharePoint farm and I think uh, from the content farm uh, column I think you have noticed that uh, distributed cache uh, server role is checked by default so uh, now Microsoft uh, Microsoft suggests you to uh, have at least one distributed cache server in your topology so uh, with that the minimum number of servers becomes one front-end one application server one distributed cache server and one search server which makes four uh, in a typical uh, farm environment plus the SQL uh, plus the SQL structure, SQL services or load balancing uh, behind it, plus the Active Directory. So let's have a look at the uh, server and let's see 
how this works out in real life yeah so now uh, I'm in the health analyzer rule definition screen in the central management application so here you see the uh, there's a role uh, there's a rule definition which says the server role configuration isn't correct let me click on that one and it takes time okay so you see by default it's set to repair automatically so uh, this rule checks uh, each server and checks if they are properly configured and if they are not if the uh, required services are not running on each server depending on its min role configuration it tries to automatically restart them it tries to automatically fix the issue and if it can't fix then it will just remain as a health analyzer alert to you but if it can fix it just fixes it so you no longer need to worry about which services to run in each server and you no longer need to worry which service is down in which server this one tries to automatically start them and the main role structure automatically configures each server uh, for the services running on them so in the second tab I have opened the services on server screen so here you can see that I have no stop option for the uh, services um, my environment is configured as a single server farm but uh, suppose it was configured as in another main role uh, let's suppose it was configured in front-end uh, server role or application server so anyways uh, in this list and I was supposed to see only the services which are related to that uh, server role so uh, the ones which are already started except the uh, central administration are the ones that are required in the server role and the ones that are uh, optional or uh, that are not running and you can see them as stopped and there's one optional thing now the central administration application is uh, optional in SharePoint 2016 so you don't need to uh, create an instance of a, of central administration uh, web application in each server anymore so it is optional you can select to uh, create it or not uh, with this service setting so the last thing that I will show you is uh, this feature convert server role in this farm and from there we can change the role mean role of the server and this can also be done as you are expecting this can also be done from the PowerShell as well and then apply and then the settings will be effective immediately sorry yeah so thank you for watching this video and as well as the other videos so please visit codingmac.com for related coverage or uh, related links or other videos and see you in the next part of the video series bye bye